Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with another LEGO Harry Potter comparison, this time for the two latest Hagrid's Hut sets. On the left, we have 75947 Hagrid's Hut Buckbeak's Rescue. It's got 496 pieces and released in 2019. It came with six minifigures and Buckbeak, although I didn't uh, bring them to California, so I only have the builds to compare today. And then on the right, we have the brand new 76428 Hagrid's Hut, An Unexpected Visit. This is the largest Hagrid's Hut set ever in terms of piece count. It comes with five minifigures and 896 pieces. It retails for 75 US dollars and the 2019 set retailed for 60 US dollars. Before we get into the comparison though, I do want to remind everyone that I am an employee of the LEGO group. However, all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the LEGO group. And LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO group of companies which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. Even though I don't have the minifigures for both sets, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the minifigures that come with the 2024 set. I do think that it has the leg up in terms of minifigures because you get three exclusive variants of Harry, Ron, and Hermione. You get a brand new Hagrid in like a more casual outfit, which I really love. And you do have two new animal molds for Fang, who is seen here, and then you'll see Norbert inside the hut. The 2019 set had three exclusive minifigures, so this one has a leg up with four. And the exclusive minifigures in that set were cool. You had Hermione with the Time Turner, and you also had Cornelius Fudge and the Executioner for Buckbeak. So those were pretty unique characters, but I definitely like these figures more, and I like the exclusive animals more than Buckbeak because Buckbeak has come in a ton of sets since 2019. And by a ton, I mean like four, but still. And one last note, I do own the 2010 set as well, which I really love, and I might talk about it later in this review. Unfortunately, I haven't had it assembled since like 2011, so there was no way for me to add it to this comparison. But maybe in the future, if we get another Hagrid's HUD set, I'll try to dig it up. The biggest difference between these two sets are actually the iteration of the HUD depicted. Buildings change across the Harry Potter movies, and Hagrid's Hut is one of those buildings. I believe it started as the one-room hut that you see on the right for the newer set, but then it evolved into like this two-room, like double, like octagonal, I think, structure that we see in later films. And so I thought that the new set was trying to emulate that by making it like a one-room hut, like the original set from 2001 and like the 2010 set. And then I thought that they were going for like the double hut vibe by including like this doghouse for Fang. But actually, I think that doghouse is in the movies. I couldn't find a picture of it, but I saw it mentioned in a review and in a Funko Pop. So I just think it's nice to see a different version of the hut. Because honestly, I hadn't realized it had been five years. I barely even registered that there was a new Hagrid's Hut set. I just buy every Harry Potter set I see. So when I got the sets like in the mail, I was like, oh, look, you know, Hagrid's Hut. I don't think I had looked at it that closely, but I did read a review on Brick Set before building it, and it made me look forward to it. And I do have to say right off the bat that I think that this is a really, really good rendition of Hagrid's Hut. We'll talk about side builds first. In the 2019 set, you just got this little pumpkin patch. This is where Buckbeak was chained up before his execution. You do get a bunch of pumpkins. That's nice. Uh, this place to hold Buckbeak was cool as well. So it's a nice little side build, and I think the most substantial pumpkin patch we've ever gotten from a Hagrid's Hut set. In the new set, you have Fang's doghouse, which is really nicely built up. Like, this thing has some weight to it. It is huge. I mean, this dog is, like, living in luxury. You could fit, like, three of them in here. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of shadowy. I think I need to get new lights in my studio setup. But yeah, this is a really nicely built doghouse. A lot of pieces go into it, but I mean, it looks great, so I can't really complain. And then the other side builds are these two little things attached to the sides of the hut. You've got a tree stump that you can actually position like um, up to this window at the side, I think, to have Malfoy like look through the window. So that's cool. And then you have a little pumpkin patch. I do like that a pumpkin patch is present in pretty much every Hagrid's Hut set, and this one is way smaller than the one in the 2019 set, of course, but I still like that it was included in some way. Moving on to the huts themselves, the other main difference besides, you know, them being two rooms versus one room is that this set is fully enclosed around the back, as you just saw. It's not open at all, and this one is like kind of the classic dollhouse-style open back, well, we'll compare the interiors in a second, but I just want to start with the exteriors. 
because this set is the perfect example of how much LEGO has changed just in the last five years. It's crazy to think that 2019 was five years ago because I remember these Harry Potter sets coming out like it was yesterday. But I mean, just look at the difference in detailing on the walls. I did rebuild this one just for this video a couple of days ago, and the building experience was crazy because there were definitely some similarities. But just look at how plain the walls are here. You have a couple of dark tan tiles. You do have a few leaves. And I mean, you've got like some studs for rough texture. But then you move over to the 2024 set and you have so many ingots and like tiny little one by one pieces. And like all of the walls are just built up in a much more impressive way. And I really think it's just the ingot pieces and the one by one tiles because these follow the same design philosophy. You know, like just gray bricks with a couple of one by two tiles of some type put on the sides. But you'll also notice that there were larger stickers on the 2019 set that you don't have on the new one. I wouldn't have minded a wood grain sticker on the front door of the new set. I actually think that the wood grain and like castle like brick wall stickers look pretty good. I don't miss like this kind of thing on the new one. But yeah, a sticker for the door maybe would have been nice. I also really prefer the base on the new set because it's like this bright green and the old set is just, it's really dark. It's like just brown and tan and then like the olive green leaves. And that's what you want for Hagrid's hut, but I just, I like the more vibrant base here. The green stands out. You have like these little mushrooms. You have a new reddish orange leaf piece. The color's new, not the piece, of course. And so, I don't know, it just, it adds a lot more life to the front door, I feel. The roofs are another area of considerable difference. The new roof is way better. Like, this was a pleasure to put together. It looks amazing when it's complete. I really, really liked the build for the roof. And again, this has an almost 900 pieces. This one has about 500. This one's, like, not that much bigger. It's kind of it's hard to tell where all the pieces go. And honestly, even after I've built it, I still don't really feel like it was 900 pieces. I guess it feels more like it was 700. But yeah, it's just, it's all of the detail. Because this thing is like really heavy. Like this thing, well, I took off the roof by accident. But this thing has like a much nicer weight than this one. I mean, this one's still hefty, but it's also like way more hollow. And you can tell that. I thought the roof for this was fine when I built it the other day. But now I kind of hate it in comparison to the new one. Like, again, it's fine. It has, like, a little chimney. It has a leaf. It has some sand green. But, like, all of the moss on this one, even, like, the use of these pieces at the top, the the newer style leaves, this one is just so much better. It's, like, insane. So, yeah, I don't like the old one, like, at all anymore. And I don't think I'm ever going to rebuild it unless it's for, like, one of these comparison videos. The chimney on the newer set is also much more built up with a nice, uh, like, newer smoke piece. I mean, it's been around for, like, four years now. But, you know, it wasn't around in 2019. The chimney here is super basic, although it does have a play feature. It lights up a light brick in the interior. So I guess we can move on to the interiors now. As you saw, this roof comes off pretty easily. It's very intricately built, like a lot of pieces went into this thing. Um, and I, I guess this is the one thing that I don't like about the set is that you need to take the roof off to access the interior. You can't open up the set and keep the roof on because this does hinge open. And I really wish you could like hinge it open and still have the roof on uh, just because it would have like provided another display option. And then maybe you could have made it look more like this hut. Moving on to the interiors, I really have mixed feelings about them because I really like some parts of both of them. I'm leaning towards liking the newer one better, but I just really like how much space there is on the 2019 model. I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. It is two rooms, which was really nice. We would never had a Hagrid's Hut set with two rooms, and we clearly haven't since. But like this one has a little desk. It's got a treasure chest with some with a chocolate frog in it. It's got a spider. That's a reference to Aragog, of course. And then in the other room, the bigger one, you've got a little chair for Hagrid that he can't actually sit in. But I really love all the accessories up here. That's something I remember fondly from my 2010 set, which I got when I was like nine years old. And so I really loved like all the accessories hanging from the roof. That's not something you have in the new set. It also has a kitchen table. It's got his like pink umbrella and a crate back there. And honestly, I should probably remove these so that you can get a better look at the fireplace. But there is a brick built fireplace with a dragon egg in there. And if you push the chimney, the light brick illuminates the fireplace. 
There was also a light brick in the 2010 Hagrid's Hut set. I think that that was my first ever set with a light brick. And so having a light brick in the fireplace, it was just so exciting as a kid. You know, I didn't even know that Lego did light bricks. And I don't know, it's hatching a dragon egg in the fire. Like, that's just such a cool thing. It's it's a really iconic part of the Hagrid's Hut sets for me. The new set has a nice interior, but it's obviously hampered by the fact that it's opening, you know, like it needs space to open and close. If it permanently looked like this, then like this whole thing could have been more interior space. And honestly, that might have been cool because I do like the opening feature. I do really like having an enclosed hut. You know, a lot of adult collectors prefer that. Personally, I'm fine with dollhouse style. I totally understand why we get dollhouse style sets and I do actively like them. I don't just tolerate them. But again, this is a nice new thing. The interior here, it is pretty cool. There are some new features in here. I like the torches on the wall. I like the black barrel because that's a slightly rare piece holding Hagrid's pink umbrella. This armchair, in contrast to the one in the previous set, Hagrid can actually fit in this thing, which is really impressive to me. Like he just kind of lies there and that's amazing. So I really like that. You have like some sticker details inside with this cabinet. You have like mugs and like kind of side tables around. Over here, this is like one of the collectible wizard portraits on the wall. I like this detail, even though it's a sticker. I kind of feel like this could have been a physical piece, like a physical key could fit in this window like frame piece. But you've got like the keys for Hogwarts. You have an axe. Um, you have another little chair here that someone else can sit in. I like these oven mitt prints a lot. What I don't like is the fireplace. Again, stickers here, like for these two things, those definitely could have been built physically. So I don't love that they're only represented with stickers. And yeah, there's no light brick. There's not really room to include a light brick in this set. I mean, like maybe it could have been squeezed in. Actually, I feel like it could have been squeezed into the floor somehow because the base of this set is pretty well built up. So yeah, that's like the one part of the interior besides like the roof not being able to be kept on that I don't like. Because even if a light brick couldn't fit, I still think that those flames could have been brick built instead of using a sticker. The other side is like a little bit smaller and is probably my least favorite area of the set. You do have a kitchen table, another mug. I love that you get three colors for the mugs in this set. Again, those are nice accessories. But you only have like one chair instead of two like in the other set. You do have this new Norbert piece, which is incredible. I love this piece and that is so amazing. And like this broken golden eggshell. And then you have another little stickered cabinet. And then if I move this chair inside, you have another of those collectible wizard portraits. But even though this interior is nice, I just I do feel like it's slightly missing something. I feel like you could have had another chair for the dining table. I would have loved to have seen some accessories hanging from the walls, because when you look at it like this, like you definitely have room for another chair right there. And I think you definitely had room for some clips on the walls, like especially over this mug over here. So in conclusion, I do think the new set is better. I think it's the best Hagrid's Hut set we've ever gotten. The exterior is just so beautiful. Like this is definitely something I want to keep on display for at least a few months, if not a year. So I'm very happy with it. For $75, I thought that price seemed really expensive when like I saw pictures of the set when I first got the set in hand. But after building it, I think $75 in 2024 for this set, it does make sense. And again, it still feels a little bit pricey because the building just isn't as big as you want for $75 when you think about the sizes of builds that you get in other themes for that amount of money. But again, it's just, it has 900 pieces. It's super detailed. It's got four exclusive minifigures, two like exclusive animal molds, like I do think the value is there, especially comparing it to a $60 set from five years ago. That's honestly like half as detailed, maybe even like a third as detailed. I still like the 2019 set. It's still got great features. It has like a bigger interior. It's got the light brick, but the new set is the best one, I think. So let me know what you guys think about these sets in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And check out my website, goldenninja3000.com. And I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.